Hey everyone, my name is Alex Gramsby. I'm an MSB consultant here at Provot Tech. Today I wanted to go through that annoying little window that pops up called SQL Spy. If you get it, if you don't, then you may not know what I'm talking about, but it actually is kind of useful. Let's hop into why. So if you are getting it and you don't want it, or you aren't getting it and you do want it or find out what's going on, come down to System, Configuration, Dashboard, come over to Config and Control Center, on the right hand side, we have all of these system options. These are all well and fine. The one we're looking for is towards the bottom here, display SQL queries for development and debugging. Once you hit save, if it's off, it will pop up. If it's on, it will stay here. You just have to close it and then it will save that value to your user. It is personal. It is not global. So if you are a, an MSP getting it across your partners. Sometimes it does get reset through patches. Then you just have to have everybody come in here and turn it off. Otherwise they will keep continuing to get it. So with SQL spy here, especially if you're on-prem and you're new to automate, but you're kind of familiar with SQL, as you can see, it's running queries inside of this little query log. What's nice is that it, allows us to see what's actually going on. So you can actually delete everything out of here so you can kind of start fresh. And as I right click on a machine to pull up a menu, notice that it's running a query to give me that menu. That, that means that I can infer data that every time that I'm right clicking, it's querying my user permissions and what the target of that machine is to see what this menu should be. And then of course, each time that it builds out a new menu, it is querying the subset of each one of these. So that's why automate is a little slow. It's just, it's querying each subsequent thing to build the next menu or the next UI. So keep that in mind. It's not a huge deal. It's actually kind of nice that it is pushing it every time, but something like data views, for example, this is where it gets interesting because searches, data views, or even running scripts you can find those select statements and start building your own kind of repository, especially if you're hosted and you don't really have access to the database. Something you can do is if I come over to data views and come down to assets, this is just my favorite one here. If I come into agent search and click open, I'm actually going to get this massive query. Sometimes you do have to like look for it. And so as I'm looking through here, I can see this is running a select count. It's not what I'm looking for. This is actually selecting the data view. This is the click, if you will, the human click. I'm selecting the data view, so open that. Let's see here. If I run all of this, so I'm gonna select all of this where computers OS like Mac because it is filtering by this. So I know this is at least the right query. If I select all of this up to the select and I come in to a raw SQL monitor. If you don't know what that is, just really quick automation monitors, internal monitor, right click anything, hit new, start fresh. Instead of here type raw SQL all caps. And then I can paste anything down here and it executes directly against the database. This is really messy. So you might want to maybe paste that in a notepad or something and clean it up a bit. Um, in theory, if I hit build and view, I should get that same exact information that I get here because I'm doing that exact same query. If I clear out the search and hit enter, that removed the where statement. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna remove the where statement. Hit build and view. The only reason I'm getting something different here is as I'm selecting all of these, this user kind of has database access. So we're seeing more than technically allowed. Just something to keep in mind if you are trying to limit permissions, sometimes you can query things outside of your current permission level, um, but ideally you shouldn't. And the data views do kind of take into account your uh, permission. This is because the user that I'm using is a video user for us. 
This is basically a super admin without actually checking the boxes with the goal of we are limiting the view just strictly for the, the YouTube so that we don't have anything crazy in here, not that we have anything really to hide. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on Automate. To learn more about what we do, please visit ProvelTech.com. There's a link in the video description below.